Hello and welcome to Beyond Sunday, a podcast from Schweitzer Church. I'm your host, Jason Leininger, and today we're happy to be in studio with Pat Zimmer. And Pat is here, and he's going to share with us some things happening um, for guys, in particular at Schweitzer, uh, a men's ministry that takes place. So, Pat, welcome. Yeah, thanks, Jason. Glad to have you. Yep. And um, why don't you begin by telling us, uh, giving giving us a picture of what the, the men's ministry is here that, that you lead at Schweitzer? Okay, well, we call our men's ministry the Guys Gathering, and really what it can, it's comprised of is just uh, events to, to connect guys uh, together and to be able to have, uh, just do fun things within the church. So it's, uh, it's basically, it's two types of events. We have, uh, we have breakfasts, uh, which are quarterly, and then we also have outings, which are just fun events just to, just to get guys connected and We've done things such as uh, things on the river, river events. We've done hikes. We've done like uh, events out at the out at the ranch, riding horses, and so really the intent of the in, the entire program is just to just to get guys connected, try to try to engage them better within the church. What was the impetus for that, um, or what's the why behind that focal point of getting guys together? Um, how do you you know? You may not talk about that much, but I'm sure at some point somebody said, why are you doing this? Well, I think it goes back to, you know, over the years, I think, um, and I don't know if it's the culture, but, you know, maybe guys haven't felt as comfortable in the church. And uh, so we've, uh, we're just trying to promote ways for them to be able to feel comfortable, be themselves, get to know each other, uh, get to know God in their recreation. Really, uh-huh. we look at these events as being kind of recreation types of events where guys can connect with each other and with this, you know, with the Holy Spirit uh-huh. in events. So it's, you know, it's comprised of fun, music, a lot of times food, and, and prayer. Okay. So it's just, a, that's kind of the intention is just to bring the family together, get, get us brothers together with our father. Uh-huh. So you said two kind of major things, folk are uh, expressions of this. One is the breakfast, the other is the the outings. Yeah. If somebody's going to come to the breakfast, what's something that they can anticipate, expect okay. coming to a breakfast? Yeah, so we've had we've been blessed with some j- terrific speakers that have come in and we set these like I mentioned, we set these up to to occur quarterly, yeah. So there's a there's a speaker component where a person of faith shares their their story and their faith, um, something that would be relevant for the guys to listen to. Um, we also include music to make it more fun. And, what kind uh, of music? Well, we've had all types. Okay. We've, yeah, we've had uh, some bluegrass. We've had some quartets. You know, some. And then just uh, some just miscellaneous bands that okay. have played music and stuff. So um, just to just to make things make things fun and to to create an environment where guys feel at home. Uh-huh. And then along with the break, yeah, of course the breakfast. There's food, yeah, and yeah. we have this this group of gals. We call them the M and M's. They're the Marys and Marthas, and uh, they they take care of us and. Um, you know, they helped us out with the first events, and uh, the intention is we were going to take over that cooking, but they have found that to be a blessing, too, to be doing this work together for the brothers in the church. Hmm. So they have kind of taken their work and their service on as a, as a way for them to help draw us guys into the church more. Okay. So it's just really a sweet thing. And uh, so although we were thinking about maybe taking that back, we didn't see there was a reason to do that okay. because they're they've gotten to be really good friends and doing that type of work too, and they they join us. They're they're part of it. They're our yeah. sisters. Okay, you know, so this it's a it's a family thing. So really, what we're trying to do with guys is to create a family all because right. we all share a common father. Mm-hmm. Who are some of the speakers that you've had in the past, and what are some maybe some themes that are upcoming? Okay, so um, our first speaker was. Uh, Sir John Ashcroft, um, and uh, one of the themes John talked about was, um, you know, he grew up and he had a strong father presence in his life, mm-hmm. and he saw that that was so important. And he talked about some of the cultural changes that we see in 
in our society right now where, um, where, you know, in the past where people, you know, fathers would raise their sons in their professions and their vocations and right. things like that. Yeah. That doesn't exist as much nowadays. Right. So he thought what we're doing is really important in a way to be able to create intergenerational connection. Yeah. So have young guys in the church attend these uh, events and have, have it as a means to be able to connect us, you mm-hmm. know, sons to fathers to grandfathers and yep. things like that. So that was a major theme, you know, that I think John talked about. And yeah. that's important in our church. And uh, and again, this kind of gets back to if men are going to church and if fathers are going to church, their kids will follow them there. Mm-hmm. And if we lose, if we don't have fathers engaged, we're going to lose the kids in this process. So it's uh we see this as a very important activity in our community and in our church. Sure. And these uh, guys gatherings, um, the church has been very gracious to allow people from outside of Schweitzer to attend these. Um, we have engaged and we brought in um, guys from the victory mission restoration program. Uh, we brought in numerous people in the community. So friends of people in mm-hmm. our church it's a, these events are a great way for, for us to invite people into our community, into, into the church. And yeah. so uh, it's a great non-threatening <laughs> environment for seekers. Yep. So I have uh, personally invited, you know, several people to these different events over the, you know, over the last couple of years. It's just a, it's just a easy, fun way to engage people and, and introduce them to our Lord. Absolutely. What's your next what's your next event coming up? Okay, so our next event is going to be a it's going to be a it's the Finley River outing. So it's going to be a canoe event on July 27th and it's going to be going from 11 till 4. So it's going to we're going to have canoe races, we'll have boats there. Um, some guys are bringing k- kayaks and canoes and paddle boards and stuff like that. So it's going to be right at the park out in the water. We'll have some canoe races. We're going to have a um, kind of a cookout, hot dogs and stuff at okay. one o'clock, and there'll be devotion, okay. a half hour devotional time after that, followed by bluegrass music. Okay. So, so that's going on um, August, uh, July. July 27th. And then our next breakfast is going to be October 12th. Okay. And that's going to feature Hal um, Donaldson, yeah, okay. who's the CEO from um, Convoy, Convoy of Hope. Yeah. So. Blessed to have another great speaker, you know, talking sure. with us and uh, kind of sharing his story and what drove him to create that great organization. Sure. So. And if, if folks want to find out about this or connect with you, um, I think probably one of the best ways to do that is go to Schweitzer.church slash next. And that's where some of these events will pop up on that on that website. They'll see that and they'll have a link to where they can contact you or or sign up and register in other ways. Yeah, so, that would be best, Jason, yep. because it really does help if folks can register for these events yep. because we want to make sure that we plan for capacity yeah. and food and all the things that go along with these things. So, sure. Yeah. So Schweitzer.church slash next. And Pat, thanks so much for coming in, sharing this ministry, this burden, this love that you have in your heart. And I know that you, you've you carried it for a long time, and it's it's fantastic that – there's a place where the Lord takes a burden and he meets a need that's happening in this world. And there's great joy in that space. It and sure so, is. Uh, thank you for the opportunity yeah. to share some of this stuff. And uh, yeah, I thank you for <laughs> the opportunity to be able to do this work. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. Well, great. Thanks, yeah. Pat. And yeah. thanks to our listeners and viewers. Um, we encourage you to take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to our channels. And that always helps other folks who may be listening or who may be needing the kind of encouragement that comes from Schweitzer. So take a moment to like, share, subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you on Sunday and beyond Sunday.